Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to this Let's Play of European Solace 4. I'm Keb. And I'm Barry. And we're onwards. Ever going. Let's see, I'm going to tear down this. Not the marketplace. The castle. Because it cost me money and then I get a... Uh... Fifty-six tickets? No. You won't. Suck. <laughs> oh, you are so precious, Teutonic Order. You won't. You won't cede the provinces I want. Of course, they won't. They'll give me four provinces. They'll just give me the border. Well, different. They'll just give me the border provinces, and I need. They won't give me Danzig or Marienburg. I can't take them from them in a direct demand, anyways. They cost too much, peace value wise. Although, let's see. If I go through you, yeah, they do. So I'll I'll accept the Teutonic piece. I still got a port out of it, actually. Good lord. Karaki only respawned rebels, and then I'm marching all across my country. I'm giving me separatism. Uh, That's bad. Really bad. I could, have, I could have deal with it if I hadn't been at war, and my army's kind of busy trying to contain... Uh, ah, I said another power. Their war enthusiasm is high, but I'm... Yeah, well, they don't have much left to go. Well, this war just screwed me. That doesn't sound good. No, because it just triggered a coalition. That's what I'm trying to avoid here, so... Enjoy! That's why I get following your advice. <laughs> not my fault. Not my fault. You took too much. Uh, uh, let's see. My siege guy is the one that's running across there. Uh, he can go. Oh, they're both siege. And why the hell am I not using you, huh? Because that'd be funny. To unsage these things and hopefully get the kick there. My goodness, how long until they free Iraq? Should have bought a value cannon. Single cannon just to speed up the siege, but I will. <laughs> Later. It's gonna, they're gonna fall soon. Hopefully. Then I'm gonna ki kick some rebel ass. I mean, all I want is one single province. I'm benign. Single province, and I want them humiliated. I want all their money. <laughs> one single province, and them dead. But other than that, nothing, nothing outlandish. I have a port. Congratulations, I have several. That doesn't help. Yes, but uh, my uh, <laughs> my value of port, my number of ports has gone from zero to greater than zero, which is quite the change. We are marching. Okay, finally. War enthusiasm is high. Hi. Then goes to see to jump pool. <laughs> Have you looked at Golden Horde? I mean, like, <laughs> scroll over real quick. Uh, not right now. I'm trying to. 
see if I, ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so you're still not quite willing. This is Grasslands, so hello. Every province in the Golden Horde is rebel occupied except one which is occupied by Ryazan. It actually looks very impressive. The fun thing is that the Ottomans are now going to have to fight all the rebels. Actually, they're marching through to siege uh, Uzbek. They're ignoring the rebels and going for Uzbek. Still not willing, huh? Well then. Uh, you can go there, actually. Do -do -do. The current piece of music playing is very Game of Thrones. No. Oh. I don't know what the track is, but it is very Game of Thrones. Music currently playing is for honor and glory. it then core it then march clear across the country to deal with rebel rebels the ottomans are fully renaissance it's a little disturbing offering me Livonia. I'm not asking for much. Moldova enjoying the Renaissance. Good for them. Let's see now. Revolt risk. How am I looking? Or not revolt risk. Yeah. Aggressive expansion. Pretty good, actually. Brandon Rook liked my uh, emasculation of the Teutonic Order a lot, a lot less than the Hungarians did. And the Danes are really mad at me. So, in other words, I did good. <laughs> I was just about to hire that guy, and then he had to go and die. Uh, do I want a fort here? No. Poor Uzbek. 
Oh. They be dying. Uh, come to think of it, are they still my rival? Ah, oh, darn it, there we go. No, they're not. So, the mum looks still are my rival, though. I assume that's because of strong alliances. They're allied to Morocco. Okay. I guess Morocco is rather strong this game, then. Could be, maybe. I really wish that the Revolt Risk map mode accented the Revolt Risk a lot stronger than it, than it does. I mean... Oh, it's... Not just... Go ahead. Yeah, Provence is just 0 0.8 Revolt Risk, which is not enough to trigger a rebellion. They're still pretty much all green. So I can't <laughs> really see them. They should be a light red. Start, start as a light red if it's positive Revolt Risk or un Unrest. Because... It, that's, uh, you need to know that instantly. You don't really care about the smaller nuances. You just want to know, where do I have a problem? Was this the uh, unrest map? Yeah. Because I'm trying to figure out, where should I station my army for the best effect? And when everything looks green, that's... <laughs> that's kind of difficult to figure out. Just a little bit. Go to Stan. I finally found the province. Okay. You go there. And I'm getting there. I just need to cord this darn thing. Then I can turn green. And here you're just complaining about green. <sighs> no living with some people. Let's see. I have four available. Go Ryzen. The Rise of Ryzen. I haven't sent any love Austria's way in a while. Wait. Hungary, you're welcome to declare war on me, but it's a very high chance that both Bohemia and Austria will come to my defense, so. You are oh, they declared war on you? I said, oh, I was just, no, I'm just telling Hungary that, you know, they can go ahead and declare war on me if they want, but just keep in mind that a very high likelihood of both Austria and Bohemia defending me. Actually, I can turn my forts off. Or not. States. Let's see if I can find where the heck you are.
Is that enough? No? Never enough. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, they already had a bow. I took a province from them rather than give it to them. Oops. Not what I really wanted to do. Yeah, not worth it now. Hmm, someone went bankrupt, not me. I'm actually making money. Well, something's gone wrong with this game. Ryzen actually made itself a significant nation. Yes, they did. And with a 56 development, they'll actually be hard for uh, Muscovy to, to vassalize and eat. Now that I have that port, thanks to the, the Teutons, I can p fabricate claims on provinces in Livonia. So the next time I do this, it's without the uh, without the the uh, causeless war. I approve. I finally found a way to balance my budget. Oh, apparently. How did you pull that off? I'm I began developing summer camps. Oh. <laughs> That'll do it. Samarkand is one of those great cities. It's also ridiculously expensive to boost up now, so... Uh, oh. And I still am done. I'm not done. But I want the Renaissance, damn it. I, I look at your 96 and I'm envious. My what? The 96 cost per upgrade at Samarkand. I'm, I'm envious. <laughs> That I'm trying to quell some rebellions. Just a few. Just a few. Though right now things are quite quiet. Delian separatists are scheduled to revolt in 177 years, so. Well, hopefully they keep their schedule. <laughs> Just trying to see your diplomatic feedback. Come on, give me. Do you have any course you none of you do? I like having so, a ten percent uh, ten percent tribute from two different countries for ten years. It's a nice boost of my income. What you were saying? Yeah, I'm just waiting for Chagatai, my royal marriage with Chagatai to end. Chagatai. 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 Yeah. It's, it's a fun word. I've got a, that Star Drive 2 game that I'm playing. <laughs> There's a system in it called Bladu. And I just, every time I go by the system, it's like Bladu. <laughs> oh, bloody, oh, blada. Bladu. I've gone some, yeah. Something like that. Bladu. I feel. 
it's I always have mixed feelings when I play Star Trek 2. It's got so many good positives to it, and it's just but it just needed a little more polish. Not Polish. I'm oh. playing Polish. I don't you know, that's why I was making money. My advice had died and I didn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it also. Making East Prussia State will cost you 4, 0.04 in maintenance every month while increasing your income by 0.04 maintenance. No, uh, or 0.04 gold. It's like, nope, uh, it's not worth doing. Nope. Come on, July. Wait a second, Ikta. Ikta? You know, that's the government form you get, but isn't that one you need to reform as well? Yes. Oh god. Ah. Uh, oh. Hey, Emperor's first reform. Good for you, Emperor. Where's the little dinky province I can give you? Moscow is warning everybody in, <laughs> near them. Including Odoyev, the great power. I can build a shipyard. Can you now? Yeah. I don't have... To, I can't build a Carrick, but I can build a shipyard. <laughs> oh, that's pathetic. A Carrick costs 200 manpower. I, I My maximum's 100. Uh, such is life. Well, Bavaria has been ruined. Salzburg owns Munich and Landshut. Palatinate controls the, the northern part Regen, Regen, around Regensburg, and the western part is controlled by Ansbach. Bavaria currently controls none of Bavaria. France is at war with England. Trying to reclaim the, the uh, Gascony. Calais now belongs to Brabant. This is, you know, we see that every game we play. Do 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 da do do. Oh my. I've actually gotten rid of my corruption. How'd that happen? I paid for it. With the huge money I made. I'm actually making money. 2.38 ducats a month now. Wow. You're well, a yeah, yeah, I'm rich. You're washing cash. I'm even There we go! And... Yeah, you know, you might want to pause now and might want to pause and save just because I want to push the button. There's no need to, for me to save. Push okay. The button. And 
There we go. Yeah, they they fixed that a long time ago. This, this isn't the EU two. Um, Welcome to being the Mughal Empire. Yay, big and green. That also killed the royal marriage, actually. Interesting. What else did it kill? Uh, we're now an Ikta government. Are you we're sure? An empire. Yeah, you are an Ikta. No, actually, the Ikta doesn't seem like it's one you need reforming. You could be incorrect on that. I'll find out eventually. Maybe. Just, let's see. I got the Mughal IDs now. And of course, now I'm an actual monarchy. No more Horde unity! Woohoo! I forgot to check that if they that those IDs are better than the Horde ones, but I assume they are. Oh, for heaven's sakes. You can't get the best of everything, and you know that. Yes, they are. My god, yes. Oh, yes. And we also happen to reach the uh, a good breakpoint. So... We can take a break here, folks, and let the vet uh, kept drool over all of his new toys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you.